The reason why I came all the way to Las Vegas and had to get a national interest exemption in order to be here is because IPW, despite the fact that it's been delayed by 18 months, is the trade fair for inbound tourism in the United States. And as the recently appointed editor of ITTN, I felt it was really, really important that I come here. On the one hand is to kind of reconnect with old friends, colleagues to say, look, we're still all here waiting to come back. But also second of all is to reintroduce myself in this new role. IPW, I expected it to be smaller, but really beyond that, I didn't know what to expect. So in the two days that I've been here, I've found it definitely smaller. It doesn't have the same kind of extravaganza wow factor the previous IPWs had, understandably so. And I miss people that aren't here, and I think that surprised me a little bit. I was, I was sad to hear, oh, such and such didn't come, or such and such couldn't make it. But having said all of that, the opening night last night was terrific. The media press trip yesterday was sensational and all the better for the fact that the groups were smaller than in previous years. So rather than have 50 people on a bus trying to enjoy an experience, you had 14 people on a bus. The meetings today have been fruitful and productive, but bolstered very, very much that literally minutes before my first meeting, the news was confirmed that the Biden administration was going to lift the travel ban imposed in March 2020. And it really, you could feel a palpable lift in everybody that rather than talk in the abstract, people were now talking very much about when this happens. Come November, then we can start planning a return.